Hey guys, I'm back, and this time we're talking about Voxel PLA. I've seen some other creators run this stuff, and I was curious. I went to their website, and I saw it at $16.99. And I was wondering, you know, $16.99, that's either really good or, hmm, who knows. So I reached out to them, shot them an email, and I said, look, um, I'm a nerdy little creator. I do a lot of 3D printing, and I would love to try your stuff if you'd send me a spool or two. And they said, sure, no problem. So they sent me two spools of the PLA. I got the black spool right here. The red one is still loaded up on one of my bamboo lab machines. They also sent me some PETG. I got that sitting here. But I'm going to do PETG in a separate video. I just think they deserve their own separate videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you all about this material. Is it too good to be true for $16.99? Show you some prints, and we'll go on. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey, welcome back. Well, let's start with introductions. First of all, my name is Paul, and this is my YouTube channel where nerdy is cool. If you've never seen my stuff before, well, I'm big into 3D printing. I do a lot of 3D printing tutorials, some reviews. I love doing 3D printer upgrades. I love taking old printers and modernizing them. I'm also into R2D2 building, and you know what? Let's just stop there and just suffice to say, I'm into a lot of nerdy, fun hobbies. So that's me. If you've never seen my channel before, I would love it if you click that button down below and become a subscriber. Don't want you to miss any cool videos. So that said, let's talk about this filament. Voxel PLA. So this is the stuff that's $16.99. And let's talk about how it showed up. Because, you know, usually we wouldn't care about how filament shows up or how it looks. But I've learned over the years that if you open up a spool and you look at how the vacuum packing or lack of or... Uh, how the filament looks like it's wound. You can kind of tell if you're gonna have problems later on. So I have a package here that I haven't opened and as you can see vacuum pad, big giant dust kit in there and let me get this into the camera here and maybe it'll focus for me but you can see it is very nicely wound. So the reason I show that is over the years I've bought all kinds of expensive filaments from very well-known um, resellers and I receive stuff that is not vacuum sealed so you don't don't know if the material in there is dry or not. And it's also wound very poorly. And what that's done for me, and it's happened to friends of mine as well too, is that when you're doing a very long print, suddenly you get that tangle and all you can do is either, if you're really good, pause and restart, or you just have to scrap the print. So I like that basically right out of the plastic, it looks like it's set and ready to go. And as a matter of fact, it is. You don't have to dry this before use. I asked them about that because I know on some producers, what they do is they go through a water line to cool the material before it's, sometimes they blast air on there to get as much water off as they can, wind it, seal it, and ship it. So uh, they use a process that involves oil. So they said that, nope, you don't have to do any drying before use, unpackage, load it, and go. You're all set. So that's convenient. The other thing I'll mention is they only make 1.75 millimeter filament. So those of you with Ultimakers or other machines, like maybe some Lulzbots, uh, if you're looking for a source for 2.85, they don't make that size at this time. Uh, you can ask them about that, but uh, everything on their website is 1.75. The other thing I noticed was I'm very big into colors. I mean, I have Bamboo Lab machines that have AMS units, so I do a lot of multicolor printing. And as I was scrolling through the website, I noticed they have 21 colors, and you know, they're pretty good colors. And I asked them if they're adding more, and they said, yes, indeed they are. So if you're looking for more colors, keep looking. Another thing that's really convenient is if you need it, they have on the listing for each product the safety data sheet, SDS, and the technical data sheet, uh, TDS there as well. So if you're looking for that information, if you're in the world of research or you need to have these to appease your safety office or whatever where you work, that information is there. The other thing that's really cool is they have a listing on their website for presets and printer profiles. So essentially they have for, let's just say non-Bamboo Lab 3D printers, they have information on suggested settings to use as far as retraction and temperature and such. Uh, on the front of the package it says, just like all the other PLAs I've seen out there, 200 to 230 C and bed temperature 45 to 60, pretty normal stuff for PLA. The suggestions for the Bamboo Lab machines is like, I have the Bamboo Lab A1 and I have the AMS Lite. Um, the good news is, first of all, you don't need any special adapter. It's going to fit right on there just fine. So when you're loading this into the AMS Lite or into your Bamboo Lab 3D printer, 
Uh, the suggestion is to use the Bamboo Lab Tough PLA preset. Also in the slicer in Bamboo Studio, just load it up as Bamboo Lab Tough PLA and it's gonna work just fine. Okay, enough of that, let me show you the prints. So on both the black and the red, I just did the uh, Cura uh, temperature tower. Basically, uh, this goes from 230 to uh, 190. And uh, you can see, uh, trying to get this just right here, a little bit of stringing going on as it gets hotter. Uh, long story short on these guys, I found that for both, uh, I did this on the Bamboo Lab A1. I also did one on my CR-10S Pro. Actually, the black one is a CR-10S Pro. Uh, I did 215. I found that worked fantastic. I also, hi Darth, uh, did some retraction testing just to make sure. And uh, this was on the CR-10S Pro with a slice engineering hot end and with a 0.6 nozzle. So uh, the retraction distance, I didn't have to make any changes. I left it at 0.6 and dun dun. Check that out. That came out amazing. Took about 28 hours. I will uh, share the link. Uh, it's actually got a little uh, notch in the back here if you wanted to hang this. And this came off printables. As I mentioned, I'll put that in the uh, description. But really, I mean, wow. And it prints like this. So no support was needed. And uh, just a really excellent print. Oh, Darth, you're such a good role model. Now, let me move that out of the way. Now the red, <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm working on an Iron Man build and uh, th this red is really spot on for uh, the build I'm doing. Uh, also, uh, let's see, I did, uh, this particular one was done on the Mingda and the Mingda took some dialing in. <laughs> but that's fine, it, it wasn't too hard to dial in. And uh, one of the, my favorites is doing this, uh, I got a little tiny string at the top here but uh, boy, my uh, color correction is gonna have a field day fixing this red. But yeah, it's a very, very vivid red, and uh, I hope my lighting is doing this justice, but uh, really amazing. And of course, being a cat guy, I had to do a cat print, and this was also done on the Mingda, and uh, 0.2, it didn't do anything really fancy with the settings. Um, I think I did the 210, 215C, and, uh, and off we went. So a really, really great print. And as I mentioned, I had this on the Bamboo Lab Machine too, and uh, the Bamboo with the high speed. Now on this print, I just set it to the 0.2 standard profile. I didn't do any fancy editing. I left uh, all the speeds to the default, uh, and uh, it did a really stunning job. And it did it very quickly. I did this in just under an hour. And uh, I like to do this test print because I like to check the overhang angles. So for $16.99, I think this stuff is outstanding. I had no issues with any of my prints. Uh, I love the fact that they gave me all that information. So if I wanted to, you know, set it up on the Bamboo Lab, you know, you know what settings to use there. The presets were very uh, handy. And like, as you saw, these prints came out great. So I think this stuff is a great value. And I'm looking forward to seeing what colors they come out with. And I'm really excited about trying out their PTG Plus next. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. And I just want to remind you that you can check out what I'm doing on social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, X, and of course, here on YouTube. There's also down in the description down below a bunch of affiliate links. There's a lot of coupon codes that can save you money. And it helps my small little channel. So thank you very much for checking those out. That's it for this time. And remember, please print safe.